Hello, everyone. I'm Goku, and this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. And over there is Sith leader John. <laughs> uh, and may the force be with you. Uh, today's show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call up at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. As a joke, I'm Danny Goodemo, and that is John Lodowski. Um, We have the Admirals Game 2 to cover for you. The Admirals have not won a Game 2 since 2021-22 season. So keep that in mind. All right, so the Admirals took on the Texas Stars in Game 2 tonight in Texas. <clears throat> Shots on goal in the first period, Milwaukee outshoots Texas 10-6. to In the second period, Texas outshoots Milwaukee 10-7. to In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Texas 16-6. to And in total, Milwaukee outshoots Texas 33-22. On the power play, Milwaukee goes 0 for 1 with 6 minutes, 3 infractions, and Texas goes 1 for 2 with 4 minutes, 2 infractions. Scoring in the first period at the 15-12 mark for Texas was Alex Petrovic, scoring his first, assisted by Leon Bischel, his first, and Matthew Semenov, his first. That would be all the scoring in the first period, so let's move to the second at the 10:21 mark, Texas gets on the board again, making it two nothing with a goal from Kyle McDonald, his first, assisted by Maverick Bork, his sixth, and Curtis McKenzie, his fifth. That was on the power play. Now, in that second period, we had um, me and John like it. Some people may not, but Yarrow closed line McKenzie after McKenzie in the first. Uh, slashed uh, Yarrow's stick out of his hand and then uh, kind of swiped it over into the corner. Um, I'm sure that's part of the reason why Yarrow took exception to that, saw his opportunity and took it and said, yeah. you know what, How, maybe I could get us to rally around this. Maybe I could create something, you know. I'm, 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 I'm not going. I'm, I'm, hey, if they're not going to defend me, I'll defend myself. Right. It's, it's one of those situations. Uh, then in the third at the 18, 15, 18, 856 mark, Ozzy Weisblatt gets his first professional AHL playoff goal with an assist from Mark Del Geizo, his first, and Denver Mutter, his first. Uh, then, uh, unfortunately, the two-goal lead was given back at the 1125 mark by Matej Blubble, his third, and Gavin Bayreuther, his second, along with Frederick Carlstrom, his second. Um, I I cannot remember how to pronounce this guy's name. Here, Cohen. Ro, uh, Ro Cohen. Here, Cohen. That would be my closest guess. Okay. Uh, Justin Here Cohen who scores his first with an assist from a tape level, his third, and Maverick Bork his seventh. That was scored on the empty net. Um, on that plate, um, I, I'm going to give benefit of the doubt and say that Ufko did everything he could to try and play that defensively. Oh, he yeah. had nobody coming back to help him. Um, they at least it looked that way from the camera view All right. that we had. So, um, it's just one of them nights. Um, Wednesday. We don't play again till Wednesday. I, I don't like it, but we don't play again till Wednesday. I'd rather play Monday or Tuesday. I want this I don't want this to sit in there linger and, and cause a problem. Yeah, I mean I would say that you gotta do a better job shutting down Bork, McKenzie, and Blummel. They have just been on fire in this series. And we gotta get bodies in front of Borier. Um, you got to crash the crease. You got to make him work for it. Um, their 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 shots are coming from the defensive zone or from the D man, yes. But and that's great. They're getting the pucks to the net. But he's seeing everything, you know. And that's that's kind of the part where if he sees it, he can stop it. He can't right. see, it, he can't stop it. Yeah, I like how they drew him out of the net tonight to score. 
you know, and 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 they showed that that they they can do that. They got to sustain pressure too. Yeah. Um, Admirals fans, I'm gonna say this. I'll be there, rowdy and loud. Um, you know, I may feel a little defeated right now. The series isn't going the way we want, but you know what? We're going home. A little bit of home cooking. You know, hopefully. Um, but what well, what you gonna do? Right now, it's look at the tape, see what you did right, fix what you did wrong. On to the next one. No. Uh, the next one could be the last one. So that's where all your focus is. All my focus is on that next game. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if it starts out bad, I'm going to be very bummed. Yeah. And, and you know, this is not the way we want it to go. Certainly not the way we wanted the season get to go for Atlanta or Nashville to this point. Right. Um. But um, you know, as they say, there's for Nashville and Atlanta at least there's next year. Right. You know, and um, it looks bright. I can tell yep. you that. You know. They showed a lot of people what they could do. What they do with Saros, don't know. What they do with 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 Carrier, don't know. What they do with Langanen, don't know. What they do with Yarrow, we don't know. Could Yarrow be the one, you know, out the blue just gets moved? You know, we don't know. But what we do know is, you know, that right now, Wednesday. That's yeah. day circled on my calendar. That is a day I refuse to, you know, one of those days where you wake up and I refuse to let today be a bad day. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm at, at the end of the day, I'm going to go see my friends. I'm going to go hang out with the guys. I'm going to go see people. Be around the loud, raucous, hopefully sold out crowd. So, come on. Y'all can do it. Yeah. Bucks ain't in the playoffs no more. You got no excuse. The Brewers are going to be out of town. Oh, wait. They're here against the Cardinals. Never mind. <laughs> wait. The Brewers got all season. You can, you can skip one Brewer game to come to an Admirals game and help us out. Come help yeah. us out. We need every loud voice, every loud soul you got. You, you, you have some, some pent up energy in there. Hold that till Wednesday. <laughs> if you can. I know Mondays are rough. <laughs> but um, you know, I'm just saying, um not a great night defensively for the Admirals. Um looked like they chased a little bit too much. Um uh, Ufko had a bad night, Del Geiso had a bad night, uh Parson didn't look like he couldn't stay out of his own way. Um I did see Tomasito battling a bit, but I didn't see anybody checking. I didn't see anybody fighting. There I mean, was a Mutter start. was pretty feisty tonight. Huh? Mutter was pretty feisty tonight. When is he not? Right. <clears throat> but, like, Weatherby needs to get that chip back on his shoulder. Um, McEwen and, and Graval need to get that chip back on their shoulder. Gross needs to start getting the puck on net when he shoots instead of trying to hit the glass or the boards. Um, you know, just these simple little things that they really need to fix and they need to fix them now. Yeah. I'm sure they're flying out sometime tomorrow. They'll be back in town. And get a little bit of home cooking. Practice on your home ring. Maybe, you know, Spend some time with the significant others or family if they're here. You know, um, I I just hope it goes well. But at this point, that's what I got for you. Um, the three stars. I'm working on it. Ah. Remy Poirier stopped 20, 32 of 33, while Yaroslav Iskarov stopped 18 of 21. Um, attendance at H-E-B Center was 6,788. Your referees were Jordan Samuel Thomas 
Liam Muscat, uh, your linesman with Justin Johnson and Dan Kovalchink. Uh, three stars of the game. Third star of the game was Matej Blomo with a goal and an assist. Alex Petrovic with a goal. And Remy Poirier with uh, 32 saves and 31, 33 shots. The Admirals have only been shut out once this entire season. If anything, that's the one thing I want to keep. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I was at that game they got shut out. Mm -hmm. School day game, and there was a bunch of angry children. <laughs> I paid my mom hard-earned money for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was a good time. Um, I I honestly think that uh, you know, when you when you look at it, um, Texas is playing really hard-nosed hockey. They're they're clearing the crease for their goaltender. They're playing very physical and and. You know, I, I'm just not sure we can match that. Um, I would love to see what happens, what we got. Almost five days till the next game. So, see if anybody gets healthy. Um, I haven't seen Allison in, in a while. I haven't seen... Um, Booty, even though I know he was doing his thing from what we know. Um, <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see where we go. Um, we know that next year we'll have some more new guys and some returning guys. It's, yeah. You know, um, Igor definitely has to show up. Um, he was our leading scorer. Yeah, he's plateaued a little as of late. Um, LaRue needs to get to the, you know, a puck in the back of the net or something feisty. I don't know. Generate some momentum. They got they got to go into this game and generate momentum early on. All right. But not with a bad penalty. No. Yarrow's penalty was bad, but it was funny. In the words of good old J.R., he killed him. My God, he killed him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a clothesline line from hell. <laughs> um, and, and, and it, it, it's all in good fun. We love the game. Congratulations to Texas. Uh, also, um, before I say this, I didn't get to do it in the last video. We were kind of cut short on time. Uh, we had some things going on in uh, pre-production that kind of shortened our video down. Um, but um, I wanted to say thank you to Vancouver and congratulations on their win in their series. Congratulations to all the teams moving on and they uh, your best uh, chance at winning a cup. Uh, and may you all end your seasons healthy. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to see another really bad injury. You know, uh, this is just the time where I want all the best players on the ice. You know, that's that's all I got to say for that. So for those who uh, question my uh, good character, remember, I'm a fan just like you. Sometimes I say things that aren't exactly friendly to the other fan bases. By the way, uh, we got any score updates on the... Uh, Boston seed game. I know that's a game seven right now. Mm -hmm. It is in overtime. Yeah, it is in overtime tied 1-1. 1 -1, 1842 left. Hey, you know, hey, Admirals, it's really, really time to make the stars fall from the sky. <laughs> um it's time for that revenge part that we're looking for. Be a good time to start streaking again. <laughs> okay, don't I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>
That's all in good fun. Like I said, um, we're 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 happy to be here um, yet again. Um, half the part, half the job is getting to the playoffs. Now you gotta go win eight. You gotta win sixteen games. You know. Well, not in this league. In the NHL, you gotta win sixteen games. You know. In this league, I don't know how many you gotta win. There's so many play-ins and. <laughs> at times um but that is all we have for you for this show we will be back on wednesday um if if uh wednesday is the end uh, we will be doing a uh immediate season wrap up afterwards as me and john will go on vacation for about a week or two <laughs> before we come back with draft coverage so whenever this is over for us just letting you oh know. oh hang on a second uh boston just won boston just won okay it's not updated on the sheet yet but it's is on the tv so i believe boston it is official boston florida begins on monday Ah, they turned it over in their own zone, and Pasternak scored. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the Toronto Maple Leaf thing that the Toronto Maple Leafs can do. Um, so like now the uh, I believe uh, Dallas and Vegas tomorrow. Yeah. Um, as much as it pains me. Go stars. I can't stand Vegas. But go ahead. Take me already. Yeah, I, mean, I believe the Matt Duchesne returned to Colorado. Again. Yeah. <laughs> um but I no, actually they would play yeah, they would play Colorado because um, that's Vancouver and Edmonton. Uh, there is a chance there's a Canadian team in the freaking cup this year. And they go be coming in from the West. Um, but that's it on that. Yeah, I think that's it, man. That is it. Um, yep, that is it. Um, also, uh, before we end this, quick thank you to Andrew Burnett, Mary Trotz, Carl Taylor, uh, Scott Nickel, uh, Derek Nesbitt. I can't remember the president or G, uh, GM of Atlanta, but I want to thank all of the people that make these teams happen. Yeah.
um, the coaches, the, 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 you know, because um, that is, they are people that go unnoticed. You always see the guys on the ice, but those are the guys that make sure that, those, you know. Right, not to mention the doctors, the equipment managers. Yeah, the, <laughs> um, uh, what is that, uh, the uh, Fred's um, uh, medical staff, their training staff, the Admiral's medical staff, and their training staff, uh, the overseas scouts, scouts are, are so important. Um, you know, people that just don't go, they go so unnoticed. Yeah. Thank you to all of them for putting in the hard work, giving us a, an ability to kind of read off of that. Uh, so uh, I thank you for that. Uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, our most discombobulated show yet. So have fun, and I will all, all of you enjoy your Sundays.